Hello, my name is Marcus Kauke from Sander Training and today I'm going to introduce you to the concept of the zero objection, no pressure cold call. I'm going to introduce you to the first two parts of the cold call, the rest you're going to have to call me for. Um, typically when we receive a cold call, uh, let's face it, it's a death march. Someone phones you up and says, hello Mr. Corchy, uh, my name is Joe Bloggs calling from Delhi. Um, the reason for my call is we are specialists in carbungulators and we help defibrillators uh, spin the rippets better than anybody else. So what they do is they bore you to death with some kind of feature and benefit wrap that tells them, uh, tells you um, that this is a salesman and the first thing that goes through your mind is how do I get this donkey off the phone? So, what we do is we teach two things. One is called a pattern interrupt and the next is the close. You close at the beginning with a cold call. Now, the way you do this is you use a pattern interrupt that goes something like this. Benjamin, this is a cold call. Do you want to hang up first? Okay. If they giggle, you've pretty much got your way in. Uh, if they don't giggle, whatever happens, you just move straight into the next bit, which is the, the close, which we call the upfront contract. Benjamin, let me tell you in 30 seconds why I'm calling, and then you can decide whether we talk further. Fair? Okay. In that, he's identified five things that you've agreed. The first is your role. The second is their role. The next thing is that they're going to make a yes or a no decision. It's going to take 30 seconds, and at any point, they can say no. Now, that's a very powerful way to open the sale, but it's also the close, because once they've agreed to that, they've agreed to start buying through your process. So that's Marcus Kauke from Sander Training. If you need to get in front of more qualified decision makers more consistently, give me a call. In the next film, we're going to look at why people don't develop a strong pipeline and why they end up in feast and famine. Thanks.